The Brooklyn Bridge is the oldest suspension bridge in the United States. Completed in 1883, it spans the East River and connects the New York City boroughs of Manhattan and Brooklyn. At the time it opened, and for many years after, it was the longest suspension bridge in the world, 50% longer than any previously built. The bridge supports pedestrian traffic as well as six lanes for vehicles. For much of the bridge's history, the two inside traffic lanes carried elevated trains from Brooklyn points to a terminal at Park Row. Until their demise in the 1950s, streetcars or trolleys shared the two center lanes with automotive traffic. Electric trolleys were faster and cleaner than horse cars and cheaper to build and operate than cable cars. However, the rapid increase in fuel-powered cars and trucks in the 1920s doomed the trolleys. Running on fixed tracks in the middle of the city's streets and occupying two of four lanes of the bridge created a nuisance in traffic. Another factor leading to their demise in New York was that they were privately owned and local governments were increasingly hostile, forcing owners to maintain a nickel fare despite inflationary trends and provide street repair in addition to necessary track repair. Perhaps the greatest factor dooming rail lines was that bus companies, jointly owned by General Motors, Standard Oil, and Firestone Tires, began buying up the weakened transport companies and replacing railed vehicles with fume-spewing and inefficient buses. Though the trolley car's fate had been sealed, in the 1930s the President's Conference Committee was formed to solve the problem of urban transit. The group helped to create the PCC car, still in use in many localities today. These trolleys accelerate and brake faster than most modern automobiles, provide a smooth and comfortable ride, and hold twice as many passengers as the average city bus, while using only $6 worth of electricity to equal the power of $32 of diesel fuel. This progress came too late to save the New York trolley lines, and the last three trolley lines in Brooklyn ended their run on October 31, 1956. Coming soon, Man at the Crossroads. New York in the 1930s, Paintings by George H. Rothaker, is a new series scheduled for completion in 2013. Stay tuned for more in the months ahead.